Having been found guilty of treason, you've been sentenced to die on this day, August 23rd. Do you have any last words, Mr. Elliot? Only a few, Colonel. I would advise you to sleep lightly in the future. My brother Matthew will kill you for this. Hardly. Your brother Matthew and the other traitors will be joining you quite soon. Do you wish a blindfold, sir? No. Very well, sir. One more day. Just one more day and we'd have been gone from here. I'm sorry, Matthew. Now, there's no time for sorrow. There's work yet to be done. Doctor, there's something wrong with Hubbard. Uh, 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 All right.
must be getting close to a settlement. As close as I want to be. Let's see if we can get some food and gunpowder from that cabin. him any time, though. No. Uh, perhaps your mother, then? No, she's not either. You see, she had to go up to Mrs. Hutchins to help out when Mrs. Hutchins is sick. And when do you expect her home? Well, it all depends on how sick Mrs. Hutchins is, but not till after supper, anyway. Well, how convenient. If you don't mind, we'll just come in and wait. Well, I, uh... Who are they? There's some men to see Pa. This is my little brother, Israel. Anybody else at home? No. Mm -hmm. Rufus, check the house. Make sure she isn't lying. You can't go in there. Now, you just get out of the way, miss, and neither you or your brother will get hurt. You can't shove my sister. My paws have to take you apart. <laughs> and just who is your paw who's going to do all these things to me? He's Daniel Boone. That's who he is. Oh, Daniel Boone. <laughs> Daniel Boone? I reckon you've heard of him, too. Indeed, I have. Why, this couldn't be better. What do you mean? Well, don't you see? He's the perfect one. He's just the bait we've needed to trap Colonel Calloway and the man to guide us into Canada. She was telling the truth, Miss Elliot. There's nobody here. Good. Now, I want you to take the packs, Rufus, and the children to the cave where we spent the night. No one I'll wait here will join you shortly. Now, what's your name, young lady? Jemima. All right, Jemima, I want you to listen to me carefully. You and your brother will go with Rufus. And there's nothing to be afraid of, as long as you do what he tells you. But if you try to escape, or cry out for help, I'm going to have to kill your father when he gets here. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Now make sure your brother understands me, too. I heard you. And you'll do exactly as I say, won't you, Israel? He understands, and he won't give you any trouble. You're a very wise young lady. All right, Rufus, you better get going. Mr. Boone may be here any minute. All right, come on, let's go. What are you going to do to my father when he gets here? Not a thing, providing he does what I ask. And I'm quite sure he will. coming. Well, then we'll have to prepare to welcome him. Except he ain't alone. Well, that does complicate things. But I think we can cope with it. Becky! Mama! Israel! Doesn't seem to be anybody here. That's where you're mistaken, Mr. Boone. Now, if you'll just put your gun aside. That goes for you, too, Indian. All right, mister. What are you doing here, and what do you want? A small favor. And I don't think you'll refuse. You see, we have your children. You better listen to him, Daniel. Take your friend's advice. It may save all of us a great deal of grief. If you've heard either one of them. I'm not a kidnapper, Mr. Boone. This just uh, seemed the simplest way to guarantee your cooperation. And I assure you, your children have not been harmed, nor will they be, if you do as I ask. I'm supposed to take your word for that. Of course not. If you and your friend will come with me, I'll take you to your daughter and the little boy. 
How long will we be gone? Two days. Can I leave word for my wife? Providing I dictate it. Satisfied? All right, I'll make this as brief as possible. My name is Matthew Elliott, if that means anything to you. Well, a short time ago, my companions and I escaped from Fort Morris. I believe you know Colonel Calloway, the commander at the fort. Well, I want you to get him and bring him here. I used to know the Colonel. We're not very good friends anymore. Yes. Had you court-martialed for collaborating with the Indians. He was exonerated on all charges, you know that. Yes, I heard that too. So I'm pretty sure he won't want to come back here with me. Well, that is your problem, Mr. Boone, because I want him here. What do you expect him to do? Grant you a pardon? The day before we left, my brother was executed in front of a firing squad on Colonel Calloway's orders. And you want me to bring him here to be shot? Well, whatever my reasons. You'll do it. When do you want him back? Dawn, day after tomorrow. Well, that doesn't give you much time. That's all the time I can spare. My life is in danger every moment I stay here. Why don't you take off for Canada? Killing the Colonel is not gonna help bring your brother back. It may compensate a little. And I made a promise to the Colonel that I'd kill him if he went through with it. I intend to keep that promise. The same promise I'm making you now, if you should fail. What about Mingo? He stays here. Let's just say it's one more life I'm placing in your hands. I'll be back. Supper, won't you? Well, I'd better get the wagon back to Cincinnati. But I'll be back. Well, there's no hurry. I don't think Dan and Mingo are home yet. Okay. Israel, Mama. Jericho. Something matter, man? I don't know. Becky will be back in two days. Jemima and Israel are safe. Don't worry, Dan. Why didn't he say where he was going? And why would he take the children with him? Jericho, his rifle's still here. And so's Mingo's. That's not like Dan, unless... Unless somebody was holding a gun on him. 
Look, I'm gonna go back and check at the fort. Maybe Cincinnatus knows something. Don't worry, I'll be right back. At the tavern. Government must want those men pretty bad if they're paying that kind of money. Proclamation to all citizens. The government of the United States will pay $500 for the capture or information leading to the capture of Matthew Elliott, Noah Pierce, Rufus Hubbard. Wanted for treason. What are you thinking, Jericho? I'm thinking that these men may need some hostages to do some bargaining. It's about the only thing that makes any sense. That's why I brought it. Well, why are we standing here? Let's get a party together and go after them. No, if we go tracking them down with a mob, we're liable to get them all killed. Mrs. Boone, there's still some daylight. I'm going to see if I can find some tracks. By yourself? Well, if I need any help, I'll come back. Be careful, Jericho. I aim to be.
evening, Colonel. You might at least have had the courtesy to have yourself announced. I figure if I did, you'd refuse to see me. You're quite right. And now will you kindly leave, or must I call the guard? Not before you hear what I have to say. I'm sure we have nothing to talk about. How about Matthew Elliott, for a starter? Elliot. Now will you listen to me? What do you know about Elliot? For one thing, I know where he is. Go on. I need your help, Colonel. What makes you think I'd grant you any favors? Because you want Elliot? I don't make bargains, Mr. Boone. You'll tell me Elliot's whereabouts or I'll have you placed under arrest for harboring a fugitive. And this time the penalty could be a firing squad. You seem determined to get me hung or shot. Now I'll take that pistol. Don't start yelling for the guard or I'll part your hair with this gun barrel. I'll have you hide for this. And we'll argue about that later, but right now I'm in a hurry. I aim to have your help and I'm going to get it one way or another. In exchange for Elliot. If it works out that way. Right now, my children are being held hostage. They'll be set free if I deliver you by sunrise a day from now. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Elliot's threatened my life. I'll do what I can to keep him from carrying out that threat. But first of all, I intend to free my children. Are you proposing that I go alone? Those were the conditions. Well, that's insanity. Not on his part, it isn't. Is Elliot alone? He has two men with him. Pearson Hubbard. I don't know their names. What makes you think Elliot will keep his word, providing I decide to go along? I can't answer that, Colonel. But whether you know it or not, you've decided to go along. I'll agree to your proposal if you'll allow a detail to accompany us or follow at a distance. I can't take that gamble. He said to come alone. Do you take me for an utter fool? I can assure you I have no intention of committing suicide. You have a 50-50 chance of coming out of this alive. I don't care for the odds. Now stand aside, Mr. Boone. I intend to summon a detail. Don't do it, Colonel. Oh, you won't shoot me. You just defeat yourself. I don't intend to shoot you. What other recourse have you? You can't leave this post without my permission. I got in without your permission. I reckon I can leave the same way. Mr. Boone, I advise you not to try. Colonel, you just made it hard for both of us. Chuck us over, Boone. My ankle. Don't lie to me, Colonel. Why, you saw me fall. You've only one recourse now. Go back to the fort and get a horse for me. You know where we are as well as I do. Right in the midst of hostile Indian country. Do you propose to carry me for the remainder of the journey? Richard? I've known you as a soldier, and a gentleman, and an honorable man. And I've never known you to be a liar. And you can call that ankle a tactical maneuver, if you like. But I'm going to get you to where we're going on time. And Elliot doesn't care how.
Put the gun down. I'm not trying to escape. What are you doing out here? Just getting a bit of air. With Mr. Elliot's permission. You don't have to worry. Do you think I'd endanger the lives of those two children? No, I guess you wouldn't. You and Rufus must feel a great loyalty toward Mr. Elliot. Why? Well, it wasn't your brother that was executed. You could be safe in British territory by now. And yet you risk your lives so that he can carry on a personal vendetta. If it wasn't for him, we'd still be in jail. He's the one that broke us out. He might well be the one that puts you back. Won't work, Indian. I don't understand. Sure you do. You figure if you talk long enough, you just might turn me against Mr. Elliot. Me? You. If I were in your place, I might try the same thing. I should imagine that Daniel will be on his way back from Fort Morris by this time. He better be if he wants to make it by sunrise tomorrow. If he makes it at all. It's a dangerous trip for a man to make, unarmed. Well, you couldn't expect us to give him a gun. No. Oh. And I don't imagine that Colonel Calloway will come willingly. Well, then you better start praying. Because if he doesn't make it, you're due for a long trip yourself. He could have let me go with him, you know. He may need some help. Ray couldn't take the chance of turning two of you loose. No, I suppose not. And yet you're perfectly safe, as long as you have the children in the cave. How does he expect me to maintain his pace? Till we get there. 
How far is that? 10 or 12 miles. I don't think I can make it. I thought you were used to force marches, Colonel. Not without food or sleep. Considering how far we had to travel here by to furnish me a horse. Well, I had enough trouble getting you over the stockade, Colonel. I don't think I could have made it with a horse. Moon's riding low. Means we're short on time. Let's move again. Keep on the bush. What is it? The Indians. Friends of yours, I suppose. Well, they're Wyandots looking for trouble. I tangled with them yesterday. Looks like they've been trailing us all day. They're heading straight toward us. Well, well, it's too late to run. Let them move up close and then we'll rush them. Slowly, Mr. Bowen. From now on, we'll do this thing my way. What way is that, Colonel? We're too far from the fort to go back, but we can raise some volunteers in Boonesboro. We haven't got that much time, Colonel. I've got to get to my family by dawn. I regret it, but I will not take a chance on losing Elliot or your life. I'm partial to that, too. When we were friends, Colonel, you knew my family. You knew Jemima and Israel. I need this chance to save them. Not without support. We can get horses at the settlement and still be there in time. It's a risk I can't take. You have no choice. There's always a chance that that musket you've got might not go off. Now, Mr. Boone, don't make me kill you. You've got no choice either, Colonel. Need any help, Daniel? I'm doing just fine, Jericho. How'd you know where to find me? Mingo told me. You talked to him? Well, it was a one-sided conversation. He mixed up with those men at the cave? Yeah, and the men are speaking. Did you see Israel and Jemima? No, but they're all right. You now, what's going on, Daniel? Some of the things I heard didn't make any sense. Elliot said if I didn't get the Colonel back by dawn, he'd kill them all. Let's go. Dawn in an hour or so. Yeah, no sign of Boone. Well, it's still time. Uh, you don't mean to turn him loose, even if he brings back the Colonel, do you? Unfortunately, I can't take that risk. He'd track us down before we got to the Ohio. And I have no desire to hang or face a firing squad. Stop, do you understand? 
Well, don't you think Pa will be coming back? Oh, I'm sure he will. Something must have delayed him, that's all. In any event, when Israel wakes up, you tell him what I told you. Then go back to sleep. I think I'll go back by the fire. I'm going to join you. A lot of hot coffee might help. It's Elliot. Give me that gun. I can kill him easily from here. Don't be foolish. We've got to talk our way inside that cave. You got a plan? A part of one. Do you think you can make your way up to that ledge over the cave? Spent some time up there yesterday. Now, Colonel, when we go down there, you're supposed to be my prisoner, so try to act like one. Even if they leave a guard outside, what can you do against two armed men except get killed? We may have some unexpected help. Mingo's down there. All tied up. I sort of doubt that. He's got a knife. I expect he's free by now. How do you know he's got a knife? Might say I gave him one. Wait till I give you the signal. I won't be long. I don't know what's going to happen. So if you hear a yell, be sure and get that outside guard. I'll get him. going to do to you if I come out of this alive. Let's not go into that again, Colonel. Just sit back and relax. The sun will be full up in a little while. Well, there's the sun and still no sign of Boone. Now, we'll wait a short time more. Well, now, we agreed that two days was long enough. The two days are up. You're not the only one the Army's looking for. We'll wait until the sun is full above the ridge. Then we'll leave. You and Noah can start packing. Jericho. I guess it's time to let them know that we're here. I won't live long enough to cross that clearing, and I doubt you will either. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm going to have to leave you here a while until I find out if Elliot's going to keep his bargain. Will you give me your word you'll stay here? I'll stay, if only for the pleasure of seeing you get shot. back just in time, Mr. Boone. Where's Calloway? He's here. Did you come alone? There's just the two of us. 
Good. Bring him out. I want to see him. In good time. I've kept my part of the bargain. I want to see that my family's safe. Bring him outside the cave. Very well, Mr. Boone. Who does he think he's given orders to? What harm can it do? Rufus, bring the children out, but leave the Indian inside. You'll see that I've kept my part of the bargain, too, Mr. Boone. No harm has come to them. Ah! Oh, not yet, son, not yet. Are you all right, Mama? Have they hurt you? No, Pa. They've treated us real good. That should satisfy you, Mr. Boone. Now, where's Calloway? Come on out, Colonel. Now there is a pretty sight. One well worth waiting for. I'll flip a coin with you to see who shoots him. That is a privilege I'm reserving for myself. Although I favor hanging. Well, good morning, Colonel. This is indeed a pleasure. And I'd advise you to enjoy it while you're still alive. You'll be facing a firing squad before too long. Am I to understand you brought an escort with you? No, I came alone. Boone saw to that, but... There's a price on your head, $500 in gold. I guarantee you'll not get too far toward Canada. Well, in that case, Colonel, I'll make a bargain with you. You'll come along with us and see that we get safe passage into Quebec. In return for what? Your freedom, naturally. What guarantee would I have that I wouldn't be shot after we arrived? My word as a gentleman. Your word is a traitor. I'll make no bargains with you, Elliot. Well, perhaps we can find a way to make you change your mind. Noah, you stay with the children. Gentlemen, if you please step inside. if you'll tie Mr. Boone's hands behind him. It wasn't a part of the bargain. Well, I regret to say there's been a change in plans. You're going to kill him? He's too good a woodsman to be at liberty, Colonel. He and his Indian friend would track us down for sure. What about my young'uns? I'll see that you get to Quebec safely. Let them go. They won't try to follow you. I'm afraid I can't take your word on that, Colonel. Anyway, I think you'll come with us. Tie him up. Jericho? No, sir, I'm doing just fine. Can you see for yourself? Dan, you have a visit. 
he wants. Well, you're a long ways from home, Colonel. What brings you here? And speaking officially, Boone, the Army owes you and your friends a debt of gratitude. Well, thank you, Colonel. Speaking personally, back there on the trail, you reminded me that we once were friends. I'd like to renew that friendship, Daniel. There never were any hard feelings on Dan's part, Colonel. I know that now, Rebecca. Dan? Well, I can't think of anything I'd like better. <laughs> And as small as a mountain was.